Foreigner, 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 foreigner. Yeah, that my bitch too foreigner to be. Good morning guys, happy Sunday. I look crazy right now, but I have my hair in those four knots and I'm going to the gym. I don't want to take it out because as soon as I come home, I have to silk press my hair because I'm going out later. I don't even know if it makes sense to silk press because it's pouring. And I'm just like, you know, but I also don't want to put products in my hair. So I'm kind of stuck right now. It's 8.51. I need to make my pre-workout drink. This is my pre-workout drink. I'll get that when I get to the gym. Um, I have Pilates this morning. I also have to stop at my grandma's house to pick up a phone. I'm trying to get her cell phone back up and running. Um, so I want to take a look at it because she keeps saying it's not working and I know it works, okay? I know it works. I know that when you bring phones to other providers, they always tell you some BS because they want you to buy a new phone. We ain't buying no new phone. So I bought her that phone a few years ago. It was a lot of money and I, I'm not trying to get rid of it that easy. So yeah, we're doing that today, Pilates. I gotta get to the gym also so I can do my cardio before Pilates. And then I'm going to a birthday party for one of my friends. Her son is turning one. Um, so that's gonna be kind of cute. Won't be my camera for that, but I guess I can show you guys like how I still press my hair and stuff. And I'm also trying to film today too. So there's a lot going on. I have deliverables due and yeah, girl, I'm behind. But anyways, before I leave, we're going to take a shot of our apple cider vinegar. Um, I've also been like feeling relatively good. Um, I'm losing like inches on my waist and all of that stuff. So I'm happy about that. I guess my routine is working. So we're going to stick to her. Um, Pilates two times a week, etc. My camera's gonna run out of space, but I'm about to take the shot of apple cider vinegar before I leave. Sunday ignore the scar on my forehead um I didn't think it would be this bad I had like a white head here and I squeezed it and or black head or whatever and I got left with the scar um anyways it's Sunday not Sunday it's Saturday May 11th the day after my birthday my birthday was amazing um I tried to record but I didn't know it was like a silent spa so it's like a social media cleanse or a, an electronics cleanse. So you're not allowed to have your phone on your person. So I wasn't able to vlog or anything like that. But it was a fun, relaxing, amazing day. It's everything that I honestly really needed. Um, I expressed a few vlogs back that I was like really stressed. And I'm actually going to make a YouTube video about that coming up very soon. And talking about like ways that I have been like working through it, including... Going back to therapy and books that I'm currently reading because I feel like a lot of people can learn from um, rediscovering their confidence within themselves and not allowing other people's opinions to really affect how you feel about yourself. And I feel like it could trickle in in any area of your life. I'll get a little bit deeper in that video. But anyways, birthday was amazing. Um, it was super chill. The only maintenance that I did this year was my nails. I got like these pink um hold on let me flip the camera i did like these really cute pink um chrome tip nails it's something different i've never done anything like this before so yeah it was it was really cute i like that i actually went and did some maintenance uh the older i get the more i'm just like really just diving into being very simple so i didn't do i didn't even do my brows I didn't do my hair 
I didn't do anything other than my nails and my feet. And um, it felt really good to just relax. Um, day was amazing. I felt loved. I felt appreciated. Um, did like dinner at home, wings and fries, and then had a cake. The cake was so cute. I'll insert a picture here. Um, but it was good. So today is Saturday. I don't do birthday months. I do birthday weekends. I mean, if people want to wish me happy birthday for the rest of May, sure. Um, so it's still my birthday weekend. I've really got to work on this. I'm actually gonna like share with you guys how I get rid of this and this scars on my face is not new to me but it's new to me like in my older age because I've just had great skin but you know acne and stuff but anyways yeah today um I went to Pilates this morning went to the gym didn't have a lot of energy I haven't been having a lot of energy to do my runs which sucks I haven't ran in a while uh so I've just been kind of working on getting in my 10 ten, thousand steps um uh, yeah working on getting in my ten thousand steps so did that didn't get into hit ten thousand yet like it's still pretty early it's only 240 um so yeah i went to the gym did some cardio had pilates i did a fundamentals class which was actually really good i might do another one with the same instructor Cause I went and I'm like, is this like an easy class? Like, is this like a beginner? And she's like, no, trust me. Like you can add as much springs as you want. Cause tomorrow makes my 10th Pilates class. And even though I don't like, I don't, the scale is not a huge thing to me, but it's a big, kind of a big thing to me right now. Cause I'm trying to lose some pounds. Um, but my body is looking different, but the scale is not moving. I've lost a lot of inches though. I've lost about two to three inches off my waist, my stomach, my hips, my thighs, and my knees. So that's also really good. I just gotta, you know, celebrate the non-scale victories, I guess. Um, but yeah, had Pilates, came home, well, ran some errands, came home. I went to Walmart to get a memory stick and frozen vegetables. And I ended up walking out with none of the two. And I spent $25 in there. I'm kinda irritated about that. Like I, I forgot to get shaving cream the memory card and frozen vegetables they didn't have frozen vegetables but then i just got so distracted picking up other things um and then i'm home around 4 30 or so i'm gonna get noah uh he has a birthday party tonight that's five to seven i'm just gonna take him to socialize with some kids for a bit and then i'm dropping him right back home after my mom's in alaska right now so she wasn't able to take him it's one of her friends son's sixth birthday but I want him to like go and like socialize with other kids because you guys know, like if you guys didn't know, Noah's been doing online school since the pandemic. And that's just because if you guys also don't remember, he was in sick kids for a very long time, like in the hospital, not like not well. And it was very stressful, very hard. Um, I remember around that time I met two nurses that were actual subscribers and it was just it just felt so good, like to just, you know, know that people there were looking out for him. Um, but yeah, like he's growing up, he's turning 10 in July. I need him to like socialize with other kids and stuff, but he's doing really well. So anything to, you know, make him happy. So that's why I'm going to take him out tonight. And then I'm coming back home to literally just chill. I might get on my bike later and, uh, do a class or just watch Netflix and ride my bike for like an hour or 30 minutes. And then I'm chilling, just chilling. So that's pretty much it, catching you guys up on my day and like how it's been. Um, again, vlogging on my phone because my camera memory stick is in my uh, computer because I'm editing the vlog. I'm so behind on editing the vlog. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna chill a little bit before I have to leave and get Noah. Please ignore the hair. Good morning. It is Sunday, Mother's Day, May the 12th, and it's 10.42. I'm heading to Pilates. I slept in, like majorly slept in. Um, yeah, did go to bed like at a decent, I think went to bed at like, um, I wanna say like 11.30 or 12, I don't know, but I took all my vitamins, including magnesium, and I'm like, okay, I'll take melatonin because like I just, I wanna sleep tonight. Why did I get up at 10, 19 and my class is at 11? Hair not done. 
you know, I had to find my gym clothes. I live 20 minutes from the gym now. Like, thank God I had time to even brush my teeth, wash my face, put a little uh, uh, a cream funny and all of that. I'm in dreamland, guys, dreamland. And like, I don't like waking up in a panic because I'm just frazzled after that. Like, headache, unsettled, like all of that. And then on top of that, I'm driving and like it's a green light for me to go straight this lady's coming from the other side making a right turn to come on the street i'm driving down she literally commits to the turn when i've already crossed the intersection like i almost clapped the crap out of her car like i had to slam my brakes and swerve to the other lane thank god no one was speeding down in the other lane because i would have hit somebody coming in the other lane like and the worst part about it is i drove like i caught up with her and she's looking like she did nothing not frazzled not panicked not nothing kid in the front seat looking all embarrassed and pissed like are you kidding me like you gotta and, and the thing is i saw her before she made the turn and in my mind i'm like you know what let me watch her because she looked like she's about to commit to this right turn lo and behold she committed to the turn you have a death wish like i don't i don't know i know i don't not on this good sunday like people are just so ridiculous so that pay attention while you're driving but anyways on my way to my class uh feeling anxious because i literally hopped out of bed uh like 20 minutes ago 25 minutes ago or 20 25 minutes ago and like rushed through clothes on even thank god i always pack like extra stuff in my gym bag and my gym bag is always together because this is ridiculous this is not me i didn't even do my edges i bought edge control so i could do my edges in the car i don't need to do my edges this crazy Man, i thought i had enough time in this light to do my edges anyways guys <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm about to head home. Pilates was good today, super intense. I did Pilates and then 25 minutes on the treadmill. So it was like 2.2K or something like that. Um, so I stopped at the store because I want to try these cold drinks. So you guys have been like, I think I've tried, ooh, what? Right, hold on. I didn't go to Walmart, by the way. I just, I couldn't be bothered. But I think I've tried like or shown you guys like me drinking poppies on the blog before or at least buying poppies so i've had the lemon no was it lemon strawberry lemonade i haven't tried like the dog pop oh this is not pop. Oh, gosh. the camera sliding is throwing me off um and like i did a face mask last night and it's breaking me out here so lord anyways all over the places so i've tried the strawberry lemonade i think it's strawberry lemonade I've tried orange, I've tried grape, and I think there's a cola flavor. I haven't tried that because I don't like Pepsi and those things, so I haven't tried that. I've tried the Doc Pop before, and I really like it. It's like a Dr. Pepper dupe. Um, these are like the probiotic sodas, so they're good for your gut health. This only has 5 grams of sugar, which is good, but um, I heard of Cove, and they have like the case of the popsicle flavor ones in Costco, but I won't buy that until I know I like the, the taste of Cove. So they had two for five in Zobies. I got the lemon lime. And these ones have zero sugar and zero calories. So it's even better than the poppy. Uh, so yeah, this is the lemon lime. And then I got the ginger ale uh, flavor. These are probiotics. And then I got uh, root beer. And then I also got cream soda this can is a little ugly and dented but it was the last one so i got the cream soda we're gonna see what these are hit info i'm not gonna open all you know four but in the vlogs you guys will see me try one or the other and i'll let you guys know my thoughts on them um i have the kombucha at home which i do want to try uh i haven't tried cold kombucha before but i've seen it before the probio probiotic sodas came to canada i'm not sure if it's a canadian brand but anyways, um, I'm hungry, starving. My hair looks a mess and I want to go home. So now I'm going to actually head back to the house. 
um shower and literally just vibe i have like this tan from the spa i'm dark and i i'm kind of here for it but it's just giving a little orange so i have like a swimsuit i don't know i can't even show you guys but i have like a dirty swimsuit tan too uh anyways i'm gonna head home now i'm honestly tired and i gotta use the washroom so yeah i don't like using public toilets i just touched my face after touching those uh hey. 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 Hey.